Benjamins in Business coming at you from Green Hills Golf Club right outside of Sandusky, Ohio. We're here for the Jamie Skelton Friends and Family Golf Outing. Unbelievable. We got some celebrities in the house, but more importantly, make sure you subscribe because we have a couple people that you do not want to miss who we interviewed. Thank you and stay tuned. It's your boy Benji Burke, Perry Jeter with Benjamins of Business. Again, we back. We had one of the best golf outings that we've been to all year. Yeah. Jamie Skelton is hosting a great one. Jamie, thank you. Tell the people about yourself and, and how you got in this space with golf. I uh, got in a space with golf uh, after um, finishing basketball and, and uh, at Ohio State, playing mm -hmm. over in Europe for a couple of years. Okay. Um, uh, got involved uh, playing a lot of charity events, other people's charity events. Yeah. Mm. You know, one of the biggest ones, Archie Griffin. Mm. Um, okay. And then you just get to uh, meet people yeah. um, and, and, and network. Um, so we started doing our own um, right about eight years ago um, and been moving it around. This is our second year here at Green Hills. And like you said, it's a beautiful public course. Yeah, it's a great place. Um, uh, beautiful people here. Mm -hmm. um, you pull it in, you wouldn't think it's a golf no, course. No, right, right, right. right. It's right. hidden. It's, a, it's, it's definitely it's a hidden gym. It's a hidden gym. <laughs> um, so this is our second year. Um, we love doing it here. The people, like I said, the people are wonderful. Um, and, and good turnout today. The weather's holding off. Yeah, um, yeah. It's sprinkling, but um, like I said, if you ever in this area, in the Sandusky Clyde area, you know, visit and, and play it, you, you'll come back. Absolutely. So let's let's back up a little bit. So yeah. you played at Dayton Meadowdale. Correct. Right. Yeah. Left Dayton Meadowdale mm -hmm. and went to Ohio State. Correct. How was your uh, experience with playing in the Big Ten? Uh, I, I, I tell people um, you have to probably be raised a certain way to play in the Big Ten because it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's hard. Yeah. Um, you know, you got people that. Uh, players that should be on the football field mm. um, and they're playing basketball. So yeah, it's, right. very, it's, very, okay. it's very physical when I played. Um, it's the same thing uh, right now. And um, I went to Ohio State not just for basketball and, and to graduate there, but I went for afterwards. Mm. Um, you know, my, my dad always talked about what's going to happen afterwards, um, yeah. how you're going to be taken care of. Um, you know, Ohio State is the Ohio State is one mm -hmm. of the biggest universities, yeah. has the biggest backers. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it worked out just like we had planned from junior high to high school okay. um, to college. Awesome. Good, mm -hmm. man. That's that's a great experience. I remember uh, our first interaction, we played in the Worthington League Correct. together. When I was in high school. And, <laughs> right. In high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they was like, man, he coming to Ohio State, mm -hmm. being steering the right way. Don't be taking him to Spats. <laughs> yeah. Don't be taking him to yeah. the Papa Jacks. <laughs> that's happens. That's happens. It happens. You got the full experience yeah, got, anyway. It, it full happens. experience. But but Bacon then was around too. Mm -hmm. So, right. you know, right. they right. was, you know, right. doing their thing. Bacon, so. Jeff Brown from Dayton. Jeff so they, Brown, you know, yeah. they, they took me under their, uh, their wings and still take to this day. Yeah. You know, us being in our 50s, uh, right. you know, they still yeah. take me under their wings. Well, I think that just goes to show the the Ohio State network, you know, and and I, I realized just by sh living in Columbus that uh, the basketball, especially the basketball family, that's what I kind of pay attention to. Y'all real close, Nick, correct. correct? And and y'all stay y'all stay connected, and mm -hmm. and I'm a part of that because one of my best friends, Scott Reeves, who I love is, to death, you're right. Well, that's, and death. and he's real close with Jim. Yep. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I got a chance Scotty. to see all of that up close and personal, mm -hmm. and uh, and I travel with. <laughs> with Mark, mm -hmm. so we I hear it all the time, but uh, I get yeah. a chance to see it, and with Chris Gent, and, right. I mean mm -hmm. names go on and on. Yeah. So and and our group, our group that I played with for those four years, um, like I said, we still still you know, close, still please. real close, keep in touch. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yes, we do. Yeah, yes, awesome. we do. That's good. What you got, Perry? What you yeah, got so for my guy? I think 
I think first and foremost, you tried on the little the <laughs> yeah. that we got. Yes. You know, I just uh, want to know your thoughts on that. Uh, I was surprised. Oh, okay. So, uh, one that I have on a blue hat. That's, <laughs> the, that's, that's the first thing that I wear, okay. that blue hat. Okay. Um, we, we, we'll get it in scarlet. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get it in scarlet. A gray uh, one, a neutral we, color. Yeah. Uh, but the second <laughs> is when you hit the button, you know, you can just feel, you can feel it get cold wow. and, and, it, and it stayed and it was instant. Right. Yeah. It was oh, instant. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I needed it yesterday right, uh, right. When, I was, <laughs> when I was losing golf balls. I needed it. <laughs> I needed it. But yeah, no, I would, de I would definitely, um, you know, purchase one and, okay. and wear it w without a doubt. Okay. Without a doubt. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, no, no, that's, that's great insight. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we really, uh, from our vantage point, you know, we, today we're selling that to uh, industrial workers, we're looking at athletics, mm -hmm. uh, but I think through uh, the partnership that we're talking about and some of the events in the future uh, that we can do, we can also package these in with some of your uh, yeah. giveaways mm -hmm. or you know some kind of a package together. So we're excited about the future, working together and collaborating with you, and um, yeah, it's sure. very exciting and a pleasure to meet you. Nope. Oh, yeah. likewise. Yes, sir. Likewise. Thank you. Love you, big brother. Uh, you already know. You already know. Sure. So we're gonna sure. end on Benjamin's that with my brother. Yeah. Jamie Skelton, people. Right. Thank you. Thank you. What up, y'all? It's Benji Burke, representing In The Number with some gear. Thank you, Jerry Hammond. We are here today at, at Jamie Skelton's Friends and Celebrity Golf Outing in Sandusky, Ohio. Look like the weather's gonna you know, permit us to hit a couple balls. Mm -hmm. Got my boy, Perry Jeter, is our co-host. What's happening today? Probably got one of our fav my favorite, one of my favorite guests, Trey Burke. Um, we're gonna be talking to him real quick about what he's got coming up, what he's doing now, and um, some of the successes he already had. What's up? What's up, Dad? You good? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Not much. Don't call me Dad on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so Trey, talk to the people. What? Um, how many years you got in the league right now? Ten. Ten years in the league, coming out of Michigan. Um, what's going on right now? Um, where you at right now? I know you're a free agent, mm -hmm. and um, you're just waiting on a call. Worked out for a couple teams, or? Right now, it? I'm unrestricted, unrestricted free agent. Um, just been working every day, really. Same, okay. same, same thing. I would, mm -hmm. same thing I would be doing in a in the off season as if I was on the team. Okay. Um, uh, I worked out with Portland probably like three weeks ago. Right. Okay. Um, Phoenix, Milwaukee's called. A few other teams is called. So, just a lot of it's just a waiting game for me right now. Okay. Um, you know, me being in my tenth year. Um, being age 30, you know, I understand how the, how the league is. The league kind of looks at me as an older, you know, older vet type of guy. Right. For me, um, yes, I played 10 years in the league, but out of those 10 years, probably like four years, I didn't play a lot. Right. So I don't feel like I got 10, 10 yeah. years, 10 got, actual years. You got six years, years on your body. On my body. So mm -hmm. okay. I feel like a younger veteran. Um, that's that's what I say. So okay. for me, it's just been just been working every day, just you know, staying prepared. You know, yeah. I know when the opportunity comes, I'll be ready like I, like I always am. Now okay. there's a YouTube video out there of you hitting. I, I, the number was crazy. I don't know if it was 90 out of 100. 95. 95, 95 out of 100 threes. Yep. Okay. And that was in one day. It wasn't like no. One day. Yeah, nah. So we, that was that was actually raw footage. Right. We um we had, I think we might have had a game that the day before. Okay. Or, I don't know. We came in the gym. Me and my boy Kiwi Gardner. Dad, you remember Kiwi? Yeah. Um, Kiwi was one of the top guards in my class. Okay. Coming out of high school, he was 
at five seven too from wow. Oakland, from Oakland, California. Mm-hmm. Um, Oakland Soldier, shout okay. out to them. Um, we Oakland we we go soldiers. we go into the gym and we we was just going in the gym as if it was a regular day just right. to work out. And at the end of the workout, I said I told Kiwi I said Steph hit ninety, I think ninety six or ninety five. Out of a hundred. Okay. I told Q, I literally said, I said, bro, I think I can do that. Okay. And um, and this is after your workout. After my workout. He, I said, bro, I think I, mind you, I'm in the middle of a season. Right. So I'm sharp. I'm super right. sharp. I'm practicing every day like I am now. But right. at the same time, you know, in, in the season, it's, you know, yeah. you got practice, then you got individual workouts, practice, individual workouts, game, practice, individual workouts, game. So it's a lot of, you know, I'm getting a lot of reps, reps at the time. Right. And uh, I just told him I think I could do that, and he was just like, uh, he just set the camera up, and he kept getting mad at me because <laughs> I kept looking at the camera, and he was just you like, him? yeah, he was not. Nah, um, I was just making sure it was on. Okay. He had like a, um, he had no. I had my laptop in there. Okay. We was recording off my laptop, and the screen on the laptop goes black, oh. but it still records. Okay. So I kept looking at the at the laptop making sure it was recording gotcha. once i got to my third spot i think i was my third spot we was doing 20th spot i think on my third spot i was already like like 58 for 60 or something like that 59 for 60. Mm. i think i had only missed like one shot so you was on track yeah and i kept looking at the screen and then if you look on the it's on my youtube page if okay. you look on my you if you What's look your on YouTube the video page? can you shout that out my youtube page is um i said the crazy thing is i haven't been on there in okay a minute. okay that's cool uh, i i get we'll i get we'll y'all the link i get y'all the link afterwards okay. but yeah I, I, Perry, I ain't been on there. I ain't been on there like a month. I gotta. I need to do more okay, on there. Okay. Okay. I'm like six. I'm like 58 for 60 at the time, and I keep looking over. And he like lock in, lock in, lock in. If you can, you can on the video, you can see. Sam, it. Yeah. You can Sam, see man. it, and then. Uh, Kiwi. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, you know, locked in That's really, amazing. And, and, and ended up hitting 96 out of 100. And mm. um, I mean, I think now, you know, when you do. And that might be the bar to end. Like you need to hit, you can't, you got to hit 90 out of 100. You know what I mean? That might be the bar you set. Uh-huh. Now let's, let's go ahead and end like that every, at least once a week. Right. It's something like that. And so, I mean, that's good. That's good. And I, and I know, I think that's what Steph and them do anyway, mm-hmm. him and Clay. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? That's their, their norm, right. I would say. Because I know him, when, when Durant was with Golden State, that one of their workouts was, uh, first one hit the rim. Right. Is yep. out. Yeah. Mm. That's what me and Junie do. Yeah. So, you know, you shooting threes, you can't hit the rim. Right. Mm-hmm. As soon as you hit the three, uh, hit the rim, you maybe that's, a, you know, you start over or whatever. Yep. But yep. Uh, that's a good way, too. So good. Good, man. So we are um, again, we're at Jamie Skelton's golf outing, uh, friends and celebrity golf outing. A lot of uh, Ohio State alumni here right now. We got Trey Burke, Michigan's probably all time, I would say. Uh, point guard, <laughs> you know. I'm, I'm sure people are gonna say Gary Grant, Jalen Rose. I shout out to all them guys. Yeah, yeah. they're my oh, guys. Yeah. Oh, my they're God. my guys. But I mean, your your hardware speaks for itself, you know. And so, I think it's what you think about them putting your, you know, retiring your number. I mean, is it time for that? Uh, or, I, or I should mean, other people still be wearing it? <laughs> I, I I have. Uh, I don't really like other people still wearing it. Um, okay. That's just me though. Yeah. That's just me. Yeah. I, I get it though. I get it. Yeah. Um, I haven't. I have not graduated from the university yet. I plan okay. on still going back. Okay. Um, to yeah. school. Um, there's still more I want to do. Yeah. As far as with the or, uh, with the with the whole, um, you know, university. Yeah. Um, the basketball side. Yeah. So I get it. I understand. But I I, I definitely it would be a dream come true. Yeah. If for I, sure. If I did get my jersey retired, retired? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's big. I would love it. Okay, that's something you dream of as a kid. Yeah, I grew up, you know, watching college basketball. Um, Chrysler I w- Arena. I was, I was, uh, I when I was little, I was like a Duke fan. It was weird. I was, yeah. a, I was a diehard Duke fan. But as I got older, um, you know, I, I grew more of a liking to the Big Ten, and yeah. and I realized how Big Ten area how big too. the Big Ten was. Yeah. So that's what we saw a lot of those games. Yep. You know, when I was growing up, shoot, we was Big East fans because yep. Syracuse, East, Big Georgetown, East, yeah. Georgetown, mm-hmm. St. John's, right. 
uh, all those teams were like big Villanova. Yeah, always on TV. Do you remember Ant used to ask where I wanted to go, and I used to always say Big East first. Yeah. Just because they had guards. Yeah. Yeah, but, all the time. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. had to work. I mean, yeah. you had to work to play in that, you know what I mean? And so, um, you know, and I always tell the story, Trey, you know, people always ask me, well, why'd you send him to Michigan? They, well, not send him to Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark Lord. Baker, Mark Baker, see, see, shake and bake, <laughs> shake and bake, <laughs> shake, shake and, and bake in Dennis Housen. But um, I always tell the story, you know, after you decommitted from Penn State, you ended up uh, was almost going to Cincinnati because Coach George. Mm -hmm. um, God, what's George's last name? Mess, mess me up. He's my oh, guy. But, yeah, but anyway, he did the best job George, um, of recruiting you. Him and Mick Cronin. And George. You, you know what I'm talking about? Now, you yeah, said you were in the grocery store. About. You saw. Man, <laughs> we, was in the gro we was in the grocery store in South Carolina. <laughs> Mick Cronin in there. We yeah. was in we was in Zaxby's, mixed Cronin and Zaxby's. Right, right. So, but they did a great nah, job. I, and George did a, a I mean, it, he, he went over the top. Like, right. And, you know, at the time, I think their point guard had just went through his second knee surgery. Okay. So, you know, Trey was going to at least have an opportunity to get right. the ball. Right. We knew that right off rip. Right off rip. Right off rip. And, uh, and, uh, and Trey was all locked in. Like, hey, this is where I'm going to go. It's right down the street. I'm going to have a chance to right. play right away. Michigan called me. I have a guy that used to get me in tryouts when I was in high school. Right. Uh, Rick Burby called me and said, uh, you interested in – you guys, would you guys be interested in Michigan? Me, I'm saying, yeah. You know what I mean? But I didn't think nobody else would. Right. So well, there the wasn't a basketball school. It wasn't yeah. a basketball well, they school wasn't, at they the time. Right. Yeah, they were down at right. the time. But it was Division One, Big Ten, high level. Big Ten Network just coming out. Yeah. Okay. So every game's on TV. Right. So his first unofficial visit, he went with his mother. I didn't even go. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Benji, this is it. Oh. Period. This is it. So now I'm I'm doing my research. Right. Okay, what guards they got? What point guards they got? They had a gentleman who was a point guard, only one on the roster at the time, who ended up declaring mm -hmm. for the draft. Demo. So yep. So now mm -hmm. there's not a point guard on the roster. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying this is idea. Right. Right. Not only do they do they want you, they need you. And so you know, Coach Bakari mm -hmm. came to me and said, Hey man, he gonna play by default. If he's ready or not, he's going to play. Gonna get some time. And so um, we ended up going a couple more times to some visits. Paul Paul went from, from San Antonio. Mm -hmm. We went to some games. He ended up seeing it at the end. was like, okay, let's, let's make this happen. This is a, this is a good fit. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, I, and you don't remember this, but I told you, I said, Trey, all you got to do, your first open gym, let them know mm -hmm. you're the best player. Right. And that's what he did because uh, Zach, Zach. Zach Novak, mm -hmm. who was the captain at the time, mm -hmm. went to the coach and said, let's get the ball to him. He's oh, our wow. guy. And he was a senior. And he was wow. a senior. So I respect it. Yeah. And then the first that. game, he's starting. First game, he, he, he <laughs> wake up late. Late. I mean, yes, <laughs> late. <laughs> wake up late for training, for training, for food. And he, he, no, he we ended woke up, up late for uh, um, it was a it was a game, and we had film. Film. And I oh, and I woke up, and I and, and I, you were sprinting and I ran, across. You were sprinting across the I ran, I the ran to the uh, to the arena. I ran. I remember getting out of my sleep, and I ran just. <laughs> It, it was like a half a mile. Wow. But I didn't have time to wait for like an Uber. I don't right. even know if Uber was right. I don't know right. if Uber right. was right. I, I just So ran. we was like, well, why ain't he starting? But ended up playing well that first game. Okay. And, and, and I remember your freshman year because the games we didn't come to, you know, Bob, he was part owner of a, of a sports bar, and he had a big screen. Mm -hmm. And we was watching them all there. George Jackson? Yep. Coach Jackson, yeah, yep. Coach yep. Jackson, yeah. And so, um, so long story short, that year you end up going to Maui, remember? Mm -hmm. yep, we yep, all came yep, out yep, to Maui. Yep, yep. Maui and played that's Duke. what really yep, put Memphis. you on the map yep. as far mm -hmm. as being in Maui because you played well. That first game against Memphis, they was like number nine in the country. Mm -hmm. Y'all upset them. Yep. You played well against Joe Jackson. Mm -hmm. And then uh, y'all played Duke. Played well, but we lost. Mm -hmm. And then um, you ain't played well against UCLA. Beat them, but you didn't. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think you mm -hmm. just, you ain't mm -hmm. played your best game. Right. But by that time, all the NBA scouts were there and at least said, hey, we at least lead to keep an eye on this kid. He's a freshman. Mm -hmm. So Put I thought that map. was the, the Molly class. that's what started. Okay. And mm -hmm. then he ended up having a, a great freshman year. I don't know if you know this, Trey, but you probably do. You, um, I think you led him in scoring. Assist. I didn't know that. And Not my freshman year. I didn't know your that. Your freshman year, yeah. I think scoring, assist, 
and block shots. Mm. I was. <laughs> I was sophomore year. Nah. nah, I was freshman year. Yeah, right, you, now, you what, average, you now, average fourteen. And now I got a question for him. What about the block? Was it legal or not? What block? There's only Tiba? one block. <laughs> we talking about Louisville. It was legal. It was legal. Yeah. So, so you didn't file him. Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, we knew that, man. We I was there. I mean, because look, when he went up, I was like this. <laughs> I went up too. <laughs> I went up too, and it was crazy. So. Um, but nah, that was a good game too. I just think that man, that block. I think y'all was down three during the block. Changed the momentum. It Everything. changed the momentum. They went up five, right? And we couldn't. We was no. Nah, that was a game where any any anything like that changes the whole. Right. Yeah. It wasn't like a, a lopsided game on no. either side. Yeah. So it was a possession, or it was a call that. That 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 changed changed the whole trajectory right. of the game right. because it was so back and forth, right. so back and forth. Any any time one of the team one of the other teams had some type of leverage from a call from a three anything, it, it, it changed the whole game. So okay. I believe that changed yeah. the entire game. Yeah. Just yeah. that that call itself. And, and my thought on that whole weekend, Trey, you, you remember this. You had all these interviews because you had won the player of the year, like three three or four different player of the years. You kept going, having to go to interviews. Well, at them same interviews was Coach Rick Pitino. Mm. Remember, they was inducting him into the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think they just weren't trying to let him lose anyway. Right. I think the, 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 the masses was wanting him to win anyway. Yeah, the narrative behind it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, you know. I see that. Um, yeah. But it, it ended up being a good game. Yeah. You know. I mean, it ended up, what, one point, one point or two point game? One, it was no, a, I think they ended up nah, losing they by, like by like four or five. They won by like like six or seven. Yeah, because oh, okay. okay. free throws at the end. Oh, I free try throw. not to talk too much about the politics of it, but I know that that had a lot to do with yeah. it. Right, right, right. Coach Patino. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I could tell yeah. that the questions they was ask, asking him in some of the press conferences was like, yeah. so how, did, how are you going to feel? How are you guys going to celebrate after this victory? You know what I mean? It was already done in right, their mind. Right. You right. know, and yeah. so those were the questions. So it was, was kind of tricky, kind of tricky. Mm-hmm. But, um, but nah, man, we just wanted to sit down with you real quick. I know we're gonna have you on um, more, but we, during this during this time of this golf tournament, uh, we just thought it was a good backdrop to to get a conversation with you. Be our first one before we bring on Shake and Bake <laughs> from Dayton Dunbar talking man. stuff. So we're gonna sign off on that. Thank you.